In this lesson, we'll dive into Amazon S3 and build a static website. To do that, we'll put a index.html file in an S3 bucket. You can think of S3 as a folder, and this is an object that will be served out via the S3 bucket. And this object will then turn into a website by enabling static hosting. So this is really the, the trick that we're gonna to do to serve out a website that will be available all over the world and globally distributed. So if you look at this and we look at the uptime here, this will be 11 nines of reliability. So that means that it's 99.999, uh, etc. cetera, uh, up. And the reason why is that behind the scenes here, you've got many of these replicas of this object stored. And you can be assured that when someone goes to your website, it'll always be available. And another key aspect of this is that you don't have to manage any servers. So this is actually a serverless technology. So let's go ahead and get started and build this ourselves. And we'll start with the Cloud9 environment. In order to create a statically hosted website, we only need a couple things. We just need an index.html file, and we also need to create a bucket and enable it to have the correct permissions. So first up, what I'll do here is I'll make an empty file called index.html, and I'll go ahead and edit this. So I'll go ahead and double click this and put some tags inside. So I'll say for here, maybe HTML will be the, the top tag and then inside of here, we can do a title that can say, uh, you know, what the name of the page is. Let's say this is a website. And then maybe I can also put in uh, some kind of a paragraph in inside that says, you know, this is my new website. We'll make it big. There we go. Great. So I've got a very basic... Uh, HTML document here, and it's and it's pretty much ready to go uh, when I'm available uh, to host it. So next up, what I can do here is maybe just keep this uh, laying around, and then I'll go over to S3 and create a new bucket. So let's go ahead and create a new bucket. In this case, I'll call this uh, Hello Cloud for Data. These have to be unique names, so this is a really important thing to be aware of. So you would have to have a unique name for your uh, bucket. Next up, I'll actually enable all public access. So you only wanna do this when you're creating a public website, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And then I'm gonna acknowledge this uh, is the change, and then I'll go ahead and create this bucket. Next up, what I will do is find that bucket. So we'll say, you know, hello, Cloud for Data. And I will need to give it uh, a couple things. So first, I'll need to go to properties here and scroll down to find the static website hosting option, right? So this says use this website uh, hosting option and we're gonna go ahead and do this and I'm gonna say enable. And once I do this, it'll ask me to tell, tell it what is the main page and this will be the index file that I created and then what is the error page, error.html. Uh, this would be if, for, for example, someone doesn't get a response, you know, what page would be shown, and we'll go ahead and say save. Now, really, the only thing left to do is to add a bucket policy, uh, and this bucket policy will allow me to correctly, uh, you know, serve out traffic. And so in order to do that, I'll go to permissions, and I'll scroll down here where it says bucket policy. And this provides access to the object stored in the bucket, so the file. So go ahead, go here and paste this in. And all this says is that every file inside, you have the ability to read it. I'm going to change this to this uh, location right here. And we'll paste this. And you can see that it's going to now let anyone in the world have access to this uh, data. So we'll go ahead and say save. Now, the only other thing I need to do is uh, go to this um, Cloud9 environment, download this file, uh, and then upload it to that bucket. I also could copy it from the command line, but just for ease of use here, I'm going to say download, and I'm gonna download it to my desktop, and then I'm gonna go back here and go to objects, and then I'm going to upload it. 
So go through here and we'll say uh, add files. There we go. There's this index.html file, great. Uh, and then if I go ahead and say upload, how do we now know whether this works? Well, if I go back to the main uh, section here and I go again to properties, if you scroll down, it'll have a static website hosting URL that'll now be available. And all I need to do is click on this little link here and this will open up the view. And there we go. We've got a new website uh, working. So it's very straightforward to create a statically hosted website that has incredibly high uh, availability and you can do it with just a couple steps.